Hello guys, hello. Well, I thought I'd do a reading because somebody asked me about this, about Putin. Uh, I want to find out, because I've been looking at different things that you know are online, different videos about him, what's going on. And one that I watched this morning actually said that he's all part of the plan and it's all playing out. Um, you know, in other words, he's working for the um, darker side, put it that way. So I thought, OK, let's do a reading. Let's do a reading on Putin and just see what comes up. So what I've got here is the past. So I've got <clears throat> like the spiritual student or the student. So we all know that Putin was connected to the World Economic Forum. So he would have been a student of the World Economic Forum. And at that time, I think that he was uh, quite naive in the respect of being involved in that and uh, ego led, if you like, being involved in that. Um, now this card also represents it's a fate card and it also means traveling. It also means very connected on a spiritual level, on a um, energy level, um, but it does mean the student. It means learning. Um, well, what's come out with that actually is funny because his integrity has come out with it. So from these cards, a woman has come out as well. So from these cards, this is the past, I want to say. Um, I would say, and what I'm getting is that a woman actually helped him to see the light, so to speak. I don't know what woman, I haven't gone into that, but integrity has come out. Um, truth and integrity help you to overcome many obstacles. And this is all about honoring inner wisdom um, and holding your head high with grace. So, this to me is telling me that. Yes, maybe he was at some point got led into that pathway of um, the darker side, so to speak, but has had uh, an awakening of some form, probably led through a woman because his feminine energy has come out. Or it could, of course, represent that his own feminine energy and his own intuition kicked in. Uh, but this is also all about doing things with integrity. So I feel, think, feel that, um, yes, he might have been led down that path, but it's almost like he's had an awakening um, to uh, be, be, you know, do things with integrity. So now the cards that have come out now is... Um, that actually is out on his own, basically. This is what this card means. Um, it, yes, it can represent losses and losing out on um, being one of the crowd, so to speak, and going against the crowd. Um, but it also means that it, basically he's doing the right thing. He is going against that and uh, is doing the right thing. And what's come out with it is the Golden Prophecy card, which means that everything he touches turns to gold, um, that he's successful, um, that he's doing the right thing. Evolve has come out with it. Um, so the green light is on, the time is now, release anything that has held you back, this is your life, and it's be ready to evolve. So when Evolve comes out with that, he is evolving. He is evolving personally, but he is also helping to evolve humanity and the world. And again, huge luck has come up. So luck is on his side. That first card that I read out in the past is also a fake card. Um, so huge luck is on his side. So this is my question was, is Putin working for the light? I would say this is a yes. Um, what's come out next is uh, the Ten of Cups, happiness, good things, celebrations, parties and time to celebrate for people, for humanity. Um, Goddess has also come out with this. Um, and this is about standing in your own strength and allowing your feminine intuitive side to come out. And also magical connection has come out that... Um, 
I feel a really high vibe when I'm looking into him and what he's doing. Um, so Magical Connection is all about um, filling your life's mission on here and meeting the right people that's going to help you do that. And what's come out next is work. And this is work to do also with money. So being paid to work. Um, or leading, being a leader, um, by using your inner strength, knowledge and wisdom, and also a new home. So this, this basically is saying that um, a new home means, yes, in some aspects, it can mean that you're going to have a new home, but also it can mean that um, everything isn't aligned as it is. So things need to change to make everything come into alignment, which of course what he's doing. So what I also got fell out while I was shuffling is sacred earth. He's helping the earth. It doesn't look like it because weight has come up with this. So it doesn't look like it right now for a lot of people, but actually as time moves on, we will see things unfold. And also what has come out with this is, um, very connected intuitively so he's working on his intuition i think i do feel that you know right at the beginning he was following the world Econo uh, economic forums thing he was also following the health world health organization thing um but i think it, something has changed as he's gone forward um, whether it's a self-realization or guidance that he's received, I'm not sure. But he is going against the grain of um, the others, so to speak. But he is on top of the situation. So that feels to me like he is working for the light. And even though it doesn't really look like it in lots of aspects, um, we will, you know, there's a lot more to unfold yet that will be revealed. So I'm also going to now look at Ukraine and, um, you know, what's happening there with that. Let's have a look. So let's get these cards. So let's just have a look. What's happening with Ukraine? Give us some insights on Ukraine, please. Um, Let's just see what's happening. Okay, a few fell out there. Let's see what we got. I'll look at them in a minute. Okay. All sorts of images flashing in my mind when I look into Ukraine. So what's come out here is um, uh, a male figure. Lots of work needing to be done the ending of relationships and deception, frustration and jealousy and all sorts of things, deceit to do with the heart. And Ukraine also got the hermit is out on its own. It is on its own. So let's just pull some more cards that goes with this. The Ukraine's leader is very ambitious, very outspoken and wants to be seen in the world. Let's just see what comes up after this. Okay, movement, align, vision, protect, past. Yes, lots and lots of stuff coming out about that. I'm going to keep those. So I'm just going to pull some other cards. This will help to give me more insights. Yes, Ukraine's past needs to be changed. Uh, needs to come out into the light. Needs a lot of deep healing, deep thought. Okay, do that. Let's see what we've got here. I might pull more if I feel the need. So, okay. So we've got uh, a king that's come out here, <clears throat> restless, outspoken, very ambitious, um, 
if he allowed it, it could actually be very intuitive, but perhaps for the not, not the right side. Uh, Move has come out with this new energy, new energy needs to come in here. And it, br it will bring in new beginnings. And literally this message is to move forward positively, but fiercely. So there's changes going on in Ukraine. Obviously, we know that on a physical level, but this is on an energy spiritual level too, because spirit has come out with this. So what's happening here is that on a 3D level, it is very darkness led. Spirit are weaving the light in there and going in there and shifting things and moving things around and bringing things to light. Um, we will see things. So important information is going to be revealed. So we will see things. So this is actually in the past, lots of stuff. It's really, I'm really picking up two polarities here. Um, the dark stuff that went on there, but there was also a lot of light stuff that went on there as well. So it's the light that is now coming in to transmute the darkness and that's spirit. So now what's come up now is hard work needing to be done uh, and frustrations around it. So it's a bit of, I'm getting like tug of war, a rope going backwards and forwards. The light's going to gain some traction and then the dark's going to pull back. And um, it's, it's a bit backwards and forwards like that. Um, what has come out here as well is a line. Alignment needs to occur, occur. So that backwards and forwards is totally the opposite to alignment, of course, uh, and, but it will lead to alignment. So alignment is going to take place and the light is shining through. If you can see that card, the light is really shining in there big time. Earth energy has come out with it. So that tells me that there's a lot of things connected to the earth through the Ukraine. Um, a lot of stability needs to be put in place for the earth to also grow. So that's not just the earth, but obviously humanity as well. But there's, there needs to be a shift in the Ukraine that will also shift things for the earth. Um, so it's almost like, it's really weird because what I'm seeing is roots being uplifted and pulled out, but then also other roots going down in to the earth. So there's a lot of old energy, old, really not nice stuff are connected to the earth in Ukraine, which needs to be brought up and brought out into the light, which it will, because the light is shining and it's actually going to come up from within as well. So from the earth, so it's not just the human stuff, it's actually the earth as well. So that's interesting. So next card out, a little bit into the future here, endings, the situation is going to end. Um, and literally, it, it literally is going to end very, very quickly. Vision has come up with this. Intuition, healing energy is going to sweep through. Um, for the people of Ukraine, it's going to bring people together. When the light comes through and really shines in and shines up, it's going to bring people together. So natural healing abilities will come up. And it's going to, what's happening in the Ukraine is going to teach something to the world. Um, so that's interesting, actually, that that should come up because I think obviously all eyes are on the Ukraine at the moment. But what, uh, what will unfold will teach something to the world. It will teach the world um, about light, about truth, there's going to be lots of things being revealed that it's going to come through what's happening in the Ukraine. And abundance has come up with this. 
all is destined to turn out perfectly and beautifully. A magnificent and abundant a future awaits. All dreams will come true, so stop worrying. This is all in the divine plan to wake a lot of people up, but to help things unfold. It's all part of the plan. So what's come out next? Three of Swords. That's all about deception, frustration, jealousy, brokenheartedness. So there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be hurt by what they see unfold in the Ukraine. Obviously, there already is already. Um, but there's a lot of frustration to do with the heart. So I, um, my feeling on this is that as people awaken and see what's happening, they're going to be affected in the heart. It's going to be like a real shock um, to people. Uh, what has come out here as well is protection needs to come in. So that push and pull thing. Uh, what else is coming out here? I, I kind of even on an individual level, people need to bring in their protection thing. Take control has also come up. So set the wheels in motion to make the changes you want to see in your life. Take action on the guidance you are receiving and live your dreams. So it's almost like, again, that push and pull thing. It's like those old frustrations are going to be coming up. Um, shock, um, a need to protect, taking control of the situation. And yet the set of cards before was all about lightness and a vision and ending, things ending. So it's interesting. The cards are a bit up and down. So I think, you know, that what's going to be shown is going to shock a lot of people. That's what I feel. And people will need to protect themselves, protect their energy. Um, and... Yeah, I'm really getting that quite strongly, that protection thing. And taking control for themselves, not leaving it for other people to tell them what to do. It's actually down to people to start taking control for themselves. That's the people of Ukraine. But again, what I want to say again is that what's happening in the Ukraine is going to teach other people. So it's also... For other people in the world to take control for themselves don't just be like a child and let someone else tell you what to do connect in to your own intuition your own guidance and start making movements and protection for yourself very important at the moment what we've come up next is the hermit Soul searching needing to be done. Time alone, really going deep. Um, and this is connected to a lot of stuff in the past, that there's a lot of healing from the past needing to be done in the Ukraine because of all the not very nice things that have happened there over the years. And yes, some of the people that are there. Lot of lot of healing needs to be take place. And funnily enough, animals has come up. So this is all about the energy of animals, the healing energy of animals, the how animals are. They are like, um, you know, especially dogs, they're unconditional. They will um, take everything, but still love you in return, you know. Um, they also carry a lot of healing energy. Lots of animals do. So it's funny that animals should come up here too. So a lot of healing needing to take place from the past. So this is interesting too. So there's delays in things happening. These are the cards that fell out when I shuffled. So it's like at the moment we're sitting and waiting for things to take place. So delays around things happening. And these delays are important because there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than what is being revealed. 
the high priestess has come out. So this, again, this is good and bad things to be revealed. And this is a bit like that push and pull, the balance of the black and the white. So uh, loads and loads of things to be revealed uh, on both sides. Um, and lots of learning, lots of learning, but high learning, spiritual learning, um, lots of growth around that learning. So what has come up here also, the Seven of Cups, I want you to remember this saying, all that glitters isn't gold. So what we might be seeing um, uh, through the mainstream media, which we know we can't trust, um, is not the actual truth, that there is a lot more going on there than what is being revealed. Worth remembering that, a lot more going on than what's being revealed and good and bad things to yet be revealed. So what's up next? Nine of Wands. So what's, what this means is that we're being guided to step out of the energy of this situation and look at it objectively, like you're a fly on the wall, looking at the situation from outside, because we will get a clearer vision, a clearer view of what's going on. And it's almost like things haven't been decided yet in fate of how this is going to unfold. But we've got the Seven of Swords up next. And this is, again, this is a bit about push-pull. This is about trust. So this is that things, people walking away with what they've wanted, but there's also an underlying current of distrust around things unfolding. So that, this is interesting. There is so much in Ukraine of light and dark at play. Very interesting. Again, I wanna go back to, we're in a holding pattern right now. There is going to be a lot to be revealed about this in the future. Um, yeah, really up and down energy. Uh, when I look into it, if I can look into the dark side of Ukraine, what I feel is, as a healer, that the whole place needs to be cleared. I mean, energetically. It needs to be cleared. It needs all that dark energy to be lifted up. Lots of healing needs to take place, which will help the light come in. In fact, I might even tonight, I might even um, do that myself and open up a portal and just allow a lot of clearing energy to take place there. I think it will help things. It will help things for the earth, but it will also help things for, for humanity. So I will definitely do that later. Um, yeah, so a lot of light and dark things still happening there. So we're in that holding pattern at the moment, that push-pull, light and dark still, battling if you like. Um, I truly believe the light will win and the more that we, everybody that's on this planet who is likely to listen to this video can also send love and light to the Ukraine. See it being uplifted, see the light going in there and really changing things on a deep level, right the way back to the Ukraine's past, right the way back. The Ukraine, from what I'm picking up, I don't know much about the Ukraine, but what I'm picking up is the Ukraine has got a dark history and it needs to be cleared. The light needs to bring up all that stuff for it to be cleared. And that is what is taking place right now. So I'm going to leave that with you, lovelies. I want you to... Um, have a good think about that. Remember, send that love and that light and that high vibe to the light in Ukraine. So you're not just sending it through everything. You're sending it to the light. You're empowering the light that's in the Ukraine um, and the truth, the truth to be revealed. Just send that light and that love into that energy. And so the 
truth can be revealed. That's what needs to happen. And it's a pity the mainstream media don't jump on board with that. I think things will change there, but we need them. We need it to happen now. But again, everything happens in divine timing. So I'm going to leave that with you. I will just say a little bit about the background here that I've picked. The background is all about, I've got a very strong urge and a very strong guidance that we need to focus on bringing that light in to your own light bodies, but also to the planet. Bringing that light, focusing on the light. Because at the moment, the mainstream media are pushing all of this dark energy stuff. And we need to transmute that dark energy and just send the light in there. So even bringing the light into your own light body so that you can do that. Focusing on the light, bringing those beautiful sparkles of light in from other dimensions, from other higher dimensions, from space, from your spirit team, from your own soul, from your own multidimensional self, from your own light being. Bring it in. Bring it on. Bring it in. So please, if you wish, please uh, uh, feel free to share this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, uh, periodically, I'm going to put out these videos with what's going on. Um, if there is a subject you would like me to look into, please put it in the comments below uh, and I will do so. So much, much love and eternal blessings to you all. And um, I will see you again soon. Much love. Bye for now.